Uh, like they introduced me, my name's Amy Wan. I come to you from the Thana the Nation. So by hands, I want to know who knows where the Thana the Nation is. Raise your hand if you know where that is. We are your neighbors. So after tonight, you'll know what's up. <laughs> so Thana the Nation, you are on Thana the land. Uh, Tucson is built on Thana the pre-Hogum, Hogum land, uh, villages, so there's villages down there. Uh, Donald Nation, 60 miles west of here, 2.8 million acres, and we share 75 miles of border with Mexico and the U.S. We see it as two different things, because uh, it's autumn land. So, <clears throat> I have a poem that I'm going to share with you all tonight. It's actually my first time reading it. And it's uh, kind of controversial, Ooh. like Arizona is, right? Yeah! <laughs> so this is my poem. And this is my, my response and my story and my experience to all the crazy stuff that's been happening the past couple years. And uh, being in autumn here and experiencing, experiencing all of these different changes, like just all around us. So, this poem is called When They Talk About the Border. <coughs> Headlines, emails, texts, and questions. What do you have to say about this? What do you think? What in the hell are y'all going to do? Where is me? And I think, and I think, and I think. Because when they mention the border, I see something and nothing at the same time. I hear my grandparents tell me, it's always been autumn land since our creation in my right ear. And in my left ear, I hear, are you a citizen of the United States? I think about childhood drives to the gate with my family. Crossing the Caldegar into Mexico was always an adventure. I think about Coca-Cola, beehive tequila, and cheese being sold under mesquite trees. I think of the first time I ever saw Border Patrol feeling scared and feeling helpless. I remember, I remember the morning my grandpa was shot point blank in his bed by smugglers, surviving by pretending to be dead. And I remember my grandfather before that being shot in the head, assassination style by smugglers as well, his death prompting letters of sympathy from Ronald Reagan to my grandma. He died for his country, a first fatality of the border war in 1986. I think about the days before checkpoints when I didn't feel anxiety of interrupted trips to Stukshan, when the sadness instigated instigated by seeing autumn families being searched and questioned when their light didn't permeate the good darkness. When our rights weren't thrown into cages when the dogs barked. Suspects, all of us, guilty by autumn origin. I think of tribal legislative resolutions, promises of protection, the lack of concern coming from that big white house. I'm thinking of the time when I did ask and their questions were, we're on our way to Washington to lobby and that was the third time that year. I think of 1999 when groups of 1 to 30 families from Honduras, Chihuahua, Mexico City, and Zacatecas came to my front door, sometimes three times a day, lost but determined, water, food, and shelter given, Women, children, men, grandpas and uncles, sons, daughters, mothers and fathers, I remember the bless yous and smiles at departure. And I remember watching them being packed into cars and trucks by the coyote, smothered under plyboards and blankets, well hidden and miserable. Remember the lonely traveler with blisters adorning his feet crazy from the sun, looking for Michigan, Texas, California and Washington, Yes, migration is beautiful, isn't it? Sometimes only for the ones who have the money. $2,000 per body, $2,000 per body, pack them in. I think of my cousins, my dad, my friends, and others who got caught up. Bales of weed hidden in our washes and bedrooms and house and horse trailers. 
hundreds of thousands of dollars flowing through brown hands with nothing to show for it most of the time but strip club and bashes receipts. Lifted trucks and bills paid, drug money never lasts. <clears throat> I think of my uncle Mike and other them who answer their citizen questions like this. Are you a U.S. citizen, the first ones? And recognize and, and occasionally silence. Are you really asking me that question? For real. Sometimes humor is the only way to keep your head up. Sometimes humor is what shines some light on it all when they're shining theirs in our faces. I think of this line and what it was supposed to be, a way to reconcile territorial war by the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, a railroad to transport slaves from the East Coast to the West Coast, paid for, paid for by James Gadsden. His purchase in 1853 affects our life in 2014. See, everything has a consequence. I think of how peaceful our existence has been when Earth Medicine Man was created of darkness and water, since Ethoi created the autumn and earth and fire, and how rapidly it's changing. Peaceful, enough to sit for hours to watch a storm coming. Peaceful to hunt in our mountains with no distractions. Peaceful enough to drink hot saguaro, hot saguaro wine under the stars until the sun came up. Without surveillance, without question, without documentation, just being awesome. Back to the drones blinking like planets in transit. Helicopters on the horizon, new roads made by ATVs, and more border patrol than the Don Autumn police capacity. I think of the Cocopa tribe to our right in California and give them so much respect for refusing the fence. How after miles and miles of its persistence, give up to their demands. I think of the Lipan Apache to our left, to our right, to our left, <laughs> to our left in Texas, unrecognized as a tribe of fighting all our love to Margo and Eloisa Tamez. And I think of the Mohawk nations with their badass tribal passports. Now that's tribal sovereignty. Don't let them tell you what to do. I think of babies born on autumn land. What a story they were born into. All the things they will learn to make them strong. This is where our creator lives. This is the song of the hummingbird and the ocean. This is how you survive in the desert. Wake up with the sun. Remember who you are and where you come from. Do you smell the rain coming? Wait for the wind, look for the dust, and watch the clouds form, and when he comes, bless yourself. And I hope it's enough to make up for the freedoms they will never know. I think of the awesome elders who fought for their rights with the cry, this is not our fault and hope we can continue their vision to be recognized as the first people of this desert we call home Woo! and considered in the decisions made on paper and under fluorescent lights to be able to live in the place we were, we were created from, to move freely from the motherlands to the cities, to be held in high regard, respect, and love like we do for ourselves. I think of all the radicals, the curious, the activists, and the loving, the organized, the fake, and the misleading, the support, the listeners, the brave ones, the quiet ones, and the wise ones, and the ones in waiting. And I believe in it all, and that ain't all. That's it. I have that line at the end with and that ain't all because even as much as I shared that's not it that yes. doesn't even you know cover all of our stories and how that line affects all of us and that's just a small part of what I see at home okay so <clears throat> I'm gonna share a song now and then one more poem um, Earlier in the workshop, I had shared, as far as poetry, like from an autumn perspective, um, our traditional songs are, are our poetry. 
And if you study, I guess, the language and how you would read it versus how it's um, sung or shared, it's really different. It has its own um, body. And so <clears throat> I'm going to share a, a song that's about the evening. And it's one of my favorite songs, and I'm leaving it with you all because it's talking about how it's getting dark and how much fun you've had and how you don't want to go home, but you have to. But those good things, the songs, the, po the poetry, the stories, the love, the energy, everything y'all felt tonight will keep bringing you back, okay? <clears throat> So there's actually like a bunch of bands back at home. They jam out on the weekends and they dance like on concrete dance floors. Um, it's really fun. It's 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 cool. And um, that's a part of being awesome. It's a part of our culture. It's kind of a more uh, modern thing, but um, it's really it's really fun. So here I'm gonna describe to you like a typical um, BS scene. Okay, so just pretend. You're parked in your car, parked around the dance floor. Um, it's all. Sometimes the, the dance floor is still like dirt, and um, <clears throat> people just set up a dance floor. Whatever kind of decoration, the band's there, and you're dancing all night. So, this poem is called um, "Elements of a Fiesta." <clears throat> awesome life, awesome love is prominent tonight. Jump, 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 boom, boom, boom. Tap your boot to the Fender, the Freddy Fender wannabe and the Metallica impersonator. No paved parking creates dusty faces and dusty lips, giving all the awesome ladies the fine complexion cover girl promises. Swaying Levi clad hips and bobbing black cowboy hats, 
dipping shoulders, high heels, and Converse sneakers scrape along the concrete dance floor. Sweet and speed thug. Speed thug means dirty, but dirty in a good way. <laughs> Sweet and speed thug boys and girls watch their mothers lean into the arms of her skukju, her lover, while two grandmothers, both named Mary, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle to the happy saxophone. We all learn from each other. Someone always has a new move. The lemon twist, the praying vulture, salt the beans, flip the chichmen, which is tortillas, new jodes, new cumbias, new guarillas, and two steps. <clears throat> Rainbow colored crepe paper flowers wave from above, proud creations of gentle hands. Dark autumn, light autumn, drunk autumn, sober autumn, poor autumn, rich autumn, shy autumn, loud autumn, church going autumn, traditional autumn, all like to shake their booty. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the cocorito, that's the red chili stew, I know you guys know what that is. Pass the <laughs> Past the stew and the strong black car tar coffee that never changes color no matter how much creamer you put in it. Sop up all the mingle juices with your plush fragrant yeast spread. <clears throat> Here comes the spito goodie, that's the stinky old man. Whiskey coursing through his veins, forcing him to ask any chukya girl for a dance, for a chance to show everyone what he's made of, with dreams of a romantic cowboy in his cloudy head. Several blazing fires becking your allegiance, enveloping a wandering body in its musky mesquite scent, tantalizingly warm and inviting. Judah, Judah, oi di him. Judah is um, coals from like, 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 if it's cold, they'll set up a big bonfire and share the coals with everybody. Bring us some glowing red coals to warm our feet, but take care of the elders first or we'll hear about it in the morning. <laughs> when the last song is played, when the last autumn child is covered in a thick hecho and Mexico blanket. <laughs> That's all I had to share for tonight, but thank you again. Your energy is amazing and very, very inspiring. Um, there's nothing like this back at home yet. And so to be here with you tonight and to see what's possible uh, opens you know, a lot of doors for what's possible back at home. So thank you so much.